Greetings, fellow mathematicians. Let's take a look at an infinite series where to check that it converges is really quick by applying the alternating series test. To get started, we need to identify the non-alternating part, b sub n. If it's not obvious for this example, let's go ahead and rewrite it. I'm gonna go ahead and take the alternating term, negative one to the n minus one, I'm gonna pull it out front. And now that's gonna multiply one divided by two to the n plus one. And whatever's multiplying your alternating term, that's your b sub n. So here, we're gonna identify b sub n as one divided by two to the nth power plus one. Now, for the alternating series test, there are two conditions to check. That b sub n is decreasing and b sub n approaches zero as n approaches infinity. So let's go ahead and check the decreasing part. Don't just state that. Make sure you provide some work for your professors. We're looking for that. So here we have our term and notice the numerator is one, but the denominator, that's getting bigger as n increases. So you might just wanna write something to the effect that the denominator gets bigger as n increases. And since this is one over a quantity that's getting bigger, that's going to get smaller, hence it's decreasing. That only works here because this b sub n term was rather simple, a constant one divided by an expression that is getting bigger as n increases. All right, so condition one is verified. The other thing we need to check is the limit here of the term b sub n. So just take a quick limit as n approaches infinity. And pretty much for the same reasons, that this is decreasing, notice your denominator is getting bigger and one over a big quantity is going to be small. As that denominator gets bigger, that fraction is going to get smaller and smaller approaching zero. So both of our conditions are met and the conclusion we reach, this alternating series is convergent. So if we just go ahead and write that, our infinite series here, which is an alternating series, this is convergent. And it's convergent by applying the alternating series test. Hope you enjoyed this short problem. If you did, hit that subscribe button.